Nearly 70% of online shoppers abandon their cart before purchasing their product. And the main reason for this is because of checkout friction. So in this video, we are going to be looking at how to fix that fast by streamlining your WooCommerce checkout with Cadence ShopKit's cart and checkout features. We'll look at snack bars that build confidence, cart banners that really drive sales, and a checkout editor that's going to eliminate friction. We'll also look at some other features inside ShopKit that are going to help you ensure that your customers complete their purchase. Let's start with something small that has a surprisingly big impact, your add to cart text. Now, while this might might seem pretty minor. This is actually your first call to action that your shoppers will see on your website. With Cadence ShopKit, it's really easy for you to change the text on your buttons site-wide so it's more in line with your products and your branding. So instead of it being the generic add to cart text, you can change it to something like buy now, get the look, download the guide, or even something like book now. The first step in the process is to install and activate our Cadence ShopKit plugin. Once we have have this installed we can then navigate to shopkit here at the bottom and then we can navigate to our cart and checkout features now the first feature is our add to cart text and in order for us to change the text on our buttons all we need to do is toggle on this enable custom add to cart text now once we toggle it on we'll then be presented with various different fields where we can add in custom text for simple variable grouped and out of stock products on our archive pages and then also our single product pages. And it's pretty simple. All we need to do is add in the custom text here. So let's say, for example, we say get the look and we do the same for our single product pages, get the look. And then I'm going to click save settings. Now, if we look at our archive page at the moment, this is our archive page with all of our products listed, we can see that it says add to cart. Now, if I come back here and I click save settings and I refresh my shop page, then I hover over it. I can now see it says get the look. And if I look on my single product page, I will then see that the button has changed to get the look. So it's a pretty simple thing to action in ShopKit. Once you have your add to cart buttons dialed in, the next step is to ensure that your shoppers get instant feedback when they take action. And this is where snack bar notices comes in. Usually in WooCommerce, you'll see these bulky notices pop up when you take action and they either push the content down the page or the page gets reloaded. Now with Cadence ShopKit's snack bar style notices, what you get are these sleek modern pop-ups that slide onto the screen when you either add a product to the cart or take action in the cart or the checkout. They give your customers quick notification that whatever action they took worked without interrupting the flow or taking up space on the page. It's a small UX upgrade that can make a big difference. Now let's dive on into my screen where I'm gonna show you exactly how you can enable snack bar style notices in your store using Cadence ShopKit. So we're here again in Cadence ShopKit and we're going to navigate to our cart and checkout features and specifically the snack bar style notices. So let's click on that. In order to enable this, all we need to do is toggle this button on. And one thing to note is that the snack bar style notices only work on the classic cart and checkout blocks. So we're going to toggle this on. Once we toggle it on, we're then presented with an option to toggle this on the cart page and the checkout page. So that for this tutorial, I'm going to toggle both of these on and I'm going to click save settings. So let's have a look at this on the single product page. So I'm here on my single product page and I'm going to click get the look. Once I click get the look, we will see the snack bar appear in the bottom left hand corner. It's uh, unobtrusive and it does not stop the flow of my browsing. So now let's look at it on the cart page. So I'm going to update the quantity here and click update cart. And once I do so, you'll see this cart update in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, so let's have a look at it on the checkout page. So we're going to go to our checkout page and what we have already applied is a coupon code. So once we remove our coupon code, then we will see the snack bar down at the bottom that says the coupon code has been removed. Once your store is starting to feel a little more seamless, you've worked on your add to cart buttons, it's now time to motivate your customers to add more to their cart. And we can do this by using conditional cart banners. 
These banners let you add custom messages on the cart page based on what your shopper might have in their cart or their total amount. Again, this is another one of those deceptively simple things that you can implement in your store to increase your average value order and ensure that your customers are engaged right through to checkout. It's subtle, it's helpful, and it gives your customers that gentle nudge to spend a little more without feeling salesy. Let's look at an example. If a user purchases a product, you might want to introduce them to another product that they might like and also give them a discount on that product. So let's dive into my screen and I'm going to show you that in action and how you can implement that in your own store. Again, we're in Cadence Shop Kit. And actually the first thing we are going to do is we're going to come to the sidebar and we're going to go to marketing and we're going to go to coupons because what we want to do is we want to create a conditional banner whereby if someone adds a specific product, then they're going to get 50% off another product. So we're going to come to coupons and we're going to click add new coupon. We're going to give this coupon a name. We're just going to give it whatever name we would like this coupon to be. And then we are going to set that it has a discount type of a percentage discount. We're going to say 50% and then we're going to do the usage restriction. So we're going to come to usage restriction and we're going to search for a product. Okay, so let's look for a backpack and I'm just going to choose any random backpack. So let's say this specific backpack and then I'm going to click publish. Now, once I have clicked publish and I'm going to go back to Cadence Shop Kits here and I'm going to go to our conditional cart banners and I'm just going to toggle this on and click save settings. Now, once I toggle it on, it will be under WooCommerce. If you don't find it under WooCommerce, all you need to do is just come here, refresh your page, and then you will see the conditional cart banners under WooCommerce. Okay, so we see that here, we're gonna click on at cart banners, and then we are going to add a new cart notice. So we're going to give this cart notice a name, and obviously you want to name it something that you can refer back to. So let's say uh, discount backpack. Okay, so what it is, is a display type and you've got various different display types. You can show it when a certain product is in the cart, when it's a category, when the cart total is equal or less than something, or also your cart total weight. So you've got the option of product, category, price, and total weight. For this, we're going to show when a certain product is in the cart, and we are going to select our product. So let's say it's the men's hiking boot. When that is in the cart, then we're going to show a message that says, we know you'll also love this product. Purchase it now and you get, 50% off. Okay. And then you get cart notice button. We can say add to cart uh, or get the product or even 50% off. And then you've got a button type and you've got different button types here. You can do a custom link, add a product to a cart, add a coupon code. What we're going to do is we are going to add a product and a coupon code. And that specific product um, is our backpack. And then we also want to add in the coupon, which is name. And if we want to, we can also add a cart notice date. So start and finish date. And then we can come down here and go through our design settings and create um, this to be more in line with our branding. So I'm going to click publish and then I'm going to go to my shop and add men's hiking boots to my cart and my conditional banner will show up in my cart. So here's my men's hiking boots. I'm going to click get the look and then I'm going to go to view cart. And now once I am in my cart, I'll see this where it says, we know you'll also love this product. Purchase it now and you'll get 50% off. Um, it may be worth us actually putting the name of the product, but I'm going to click get product. And once I do that, it's going to add the backpack and we can see that it adds in the coupon that we created earlier. After encouraging your shoppers to add a little more to their cart with your cart banners, it's now time to ensure that they stay focused throughout the checkout process. And one of the ways to do that is to use the checkout coupon modal. Normally WooCommerce shows a big coupon field before the checkout 
platform. And this is actually quite distracting for your customers. However, with Cadence ShopKit, you can easily turn the coupon field into a simple link in the order summary form. And when your user clicks on this link, it will then pop up with a sleek medal that they can then input their coupon code. This turns the whole checkout process into a more sleek, modern, distraction-free experience. And it's also going to limit customers leaving your website to find coupon codes. The result in using the checkout pop-up medal means that you're going to have fewer abandoned carts and a more sleeker, distraction-free experience for your customers. So let's dive on into my screen and I'll show you exactly how you can quickly implement this in your checkout. So as we mentioned before, normally in WooCommerce, what we have is this banner that says, have a coupon, click here to enter your code, and then you'll add in your coupon code. Again, this is quite messy. So to make it a more cleaner experience, what we can do is we can toggle on the checkout coupon medal feature from Cadence Shop Kit. So we're gonna come here. We're just going to toggle this on to enable it. And then we got a couple of options. The first option is where exactly you would like to place this. You can place it between your order review and payment before your order review, uh, before the total, after the total, and after payment. So I'm going to do it before the order review. I can then change the link text. I can also change the medal link text and the medal description, input placeholder, and apply button. So there's a couple of things that you can change here. I'm then going to click save settings. And just one thing to note is that this only works on the standard checkout not the checkout block so you do need to use the classic checkout we're going to click save settings and then we are going to refresh our checkout page once we've refreshed it we'll now see this section here that says have a promo code and then you can click here to enter your code and then you get this pop-up and you can pop in your coupon and click apply code so now your customers are ready to check out it's the final step in the process and you want to make it as stress-free as possible so this is where the checkout editor comes in. With Cadence ShopKit, you can easily customize the checkout form to really match your customer's needs. You can remove fields, you can rename labels, or you can even add additional fields, for example, like delivery details or gift messages without touching a line of code. Every extra field you have in your checkout or confusing label you have can really cause friction in the whole checkout process and can lead to your customer abandoning their cart. So it's all about creating a more cleaner, faster checkout process that is tailored to your business, ensuring that customers actually finish their purchase. So let's dive on into my screen where I'm going to show you how to tailor the checkout process for your shop. So we are in Cadence ShopKit again, and we're going to be looking at the checkout editor. So we're gonna to navigate to checkout editor. And what we're going to do is we are going to enable the checkout fields editor and then click save. Once we do that, we'll then see it in the WooCommerce menus. If it's not there again, all we need to do is just refresh our page and then we will see it on the left-hand side under WooCommerce and checkout manager. Once you have clicked on this, then you will see all the fields. You'll see your billing fields in the first tab, shipping fields second, and then if you've got any extra fields, you can, they are all under extra fields in that additional tab there. So the first thing is to remove any of these that we do have. So for example, if you don't need the telephone number, all we need to do is just tick this button here and click remove, and then that's going to remove the item from your checkout field make sure you do click save changes once you remove that. If you want to add a field, you'll just come here and click add field. You can choose what type it is. It might be a password, a text area, a checkbox, etc. Let's do a text area and call it gift underscore message. And then the label add in your gift message here. Okay, and then click add new field and then we'll click save changes. Now, once we head over to our checkout, we'll then see that additional field over here and it's add in your gift message here. So you can go ahead and you can remove add. You can also move fields around by simply coming to the left-hand side where you've got this little arrow and you can move things around up and down 
in your checkout and then click save changes and then those will reflect in your checkout so there you have it a few simple powerful ways that you can make your woocommerce checkout process a whole lot faster and smoother by using cadence shop kits cart and checkout features from snack bars that keep your shoppers confident to cart banners that drive up sales to the checkout editor and coupon modal that simplify those final steps. All of our features in ShopKit have been designed to create a better shopping experience for your customers and keep them buying. So if you're ready to optimize your WooCommerce store, then be sure to check out Cadence ShopKit. The link is below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and drop in the comments below which of these features you're most excited to give a try. Until next time, thank you for watching.